Echo One. Mind picking up that can over there for me? I think there's some water in there. <laughs> he headbutted you right in the butt. God damn it, Ace. You never should have put down the wrench and picked up the gun. Sorry about the waterworks. I'm still pretty broke up over Ace. I'm Angie. You kids must be the new recruits old Vargas trained up. Lord, y'all just babies. Sorry, but you are. As cute as little kittens. Y'all remind me of us. Snake, Razor, Thrasher, and me. Back when we were just starting out, thinking we were gonna save the world for the future. Christ, sorry. Don't listen to me. Youth is good. Optimism is good. If we all started out worn out and jaded like me, nobody'd ever try to change the world. So you kids go ahead and give it a go. Maybe it'll work this time. You better call him Gilbert now. Funny, back in the day, he just seemed like this big old growly bear. Strong as an ox and just about as articulate. But then he got all torn up during our fight with the robots from base Cochise, and he couldn't go out on patrol no more. Any other commander would have handed him his walk-in papers, but Vargas doesn't dump old friends. So he started him working in the museum. And once you know it, turns out the old bear has a knack for cartography. He's been gradually mapping our little corner of the wasteland ever since. Who does that? An old military facility from before the war. And the biggest fight the Rangers ever had. There was some crazy computer in there that kept spitting out robots and sending them off to kill people. We had one hell of a fight putting it down. Earned our stripes that day. Literally. That's when I became Captain Death. Yeah. The base Cochise AI. Don't know what was wrong with it. Broken, I guess. It thought everybody was its enemy. Wanted to kill the whole planet. He's another one gone. Went out for a patrol a few weeks back and never came home. Don't know if he's dead or AWOL. We're gone off to join the Scorpions. All anybody knows is he hasn't called in, and we haven't heard from anybody who's seen him. I miss all Hellraiser like blazes. Didn't talk much. Didn't make friends easy. Wasn't big on social graces. But he was as loyal as they come, and when the shit started flying, he was the guy you wanted at your back. He didn't win that name by accident. Sharp as a razor, scary as hell. You weren't briefed on those fucks during your training? Well, let me fill you in. You know when we left the prison and moved here to the Citadel? Well, the Scorpions were the jerks who moved into the prison when we moved out. Just a bunch of rangers back then, but they had been getting more organized call themselves a militia now, and they try to act like they're the desert rangers of eastern Arizona. Well, that's a load of horse shit. The protection racket ain't the same as protecting people. They shake down all their towns for money, and if the locals don't kick in, they smash them up. The rangers aren't like that. They get by on donations and good old-fashioned scavenging. Basically everything between the prison and the radiation clouds to the east. There are a few small towns and farms out there, which the Scorpions claim is their territory. Rangers used to patrol that area before we moved here, and we knew it pretty well. But a lot can change in 15 years. Who knows? 
Maybe it's all as clean and nice and crime-free as the Scorpions say it is. But I've got my doubts. The edges of the map, kiddies. Big hot areas we can't get into without getting cooked to a crisp. The clouds move around some with the wind and the weather, but there are permanent hot spots on every side of us. North, south, east, and west. Until we started hearing those weird broadcasts, I kind of thought those clouds went on forever. And that Arizona was the last place on Earth. But maybe there's more people out there. <laughs> maybe the whole rest of the world's just fine, and we're the only ones in hell. Wouldn't that be a joke? Ace played me some of them before he died. Hard to make out a lot of it, but what I heard made my hair stand on end. Some guy talking about turning men into machines. Or machines into men, or some shit. But the crazy thing was, then he starts talking about us. The Rangers. Saying we're the cause of all the trouble in the world. And we need to be wiped out so his glorious future can be born. I mean, who is this guy? Where is he? What the fuck does he have against us? Yep, he was one wild-ass son of a bitch back in the day. But I think the weight of his responsibilities has kind of squashed that out of him now. He hasn't been in a decent bar fight in... shit, a decade, maybe? <laughs> Better than he'd like. Back in the day, the General was the craziest of us all. But somehow, after he brought down base Cochise, he became the sanest. Now he's running the whole show. And doing a damn fine job. Well, I'm still walking patrols and answering radio calls. Shows you how much ambition I got, huh? They all hurt, but this one... Man, Ace wasn't even a ranger. Not first. He worked as a driver and mechanic for Fair and Brigo up in Vegas. And when Base Cochise started sending its death machines into the desert, Brigo sent Ace south to recruit robot fighters. We met him in quartz. He'd pissed somebody off out there, and they'd locked him up. We sorted that out, and he started running with us, helping us fight Cochise. He never stopped. Vargas eventually gave him the uniform and the hat. But I don't think he ever formally signed on. He was just... always there. And now he's... He's... God damn it, Ace! I knew this one was trouble, I knew it! He was working on... Same thing Vargas has you working on. Trying to track down radio signals from beyond the edges of the map. All seemed a bit boring and scientific to me. But then Ace started saying he thought someone was following him. I asked him to let me come with him when I met him at Rail Nomads to give him the repeater units. But he told me to go back to base. He said he was just jumping at shadows because those radio broadcasts had spooked him. I should have gone with him. Why didn't I go with him? I don't really know the details. It's all a bunch of mumbo-jumbo about transmitters and north-south axis and signals bouncing off the clouds. Ask Woodson about it. He's our radio genius. Radio technician Wade Woodson? Sure do. He's the guy that makes sure you can hear Vargas when you're out on patrol. Keeps the machines running and the signal clear. He'll also talk your ear off about circuits and frequencies and I don't know what else if you let him. But be nice to him. He's your lifeline to the base. Could be a nice little place if the Atchisons and Topekans would kiss and make up. I can't even remember what it's all about, but between them, they got enough old railroad tech that if they worked together, they could give this area a real transportation system. Instead, it seems like all they want to do is blow each other's heads off. Idiots. Man, not sure I can recall. Haven't been out that way in ages. Don't even know if it's still on the map. Ask Thrasher, he'd know. Say, listen. Vargas asked you to look into Ace's death because he thought I was too upset to be professional about it. He didn't want me going off half-cocked and shooting up all of Arizona looking for his killer. But I gotta find this guy. Ace and me, well, we've been fighting side by side for nigh on 20 years. I'm not letting him die unavenged. So, well, I know it's going against orders, but if you let me tag along and be in at the kill, well, I'll help you find your feet out there. Maybe give you a few pointers along the way. 
I may be old and slow, but I know the wastes like the back of my hand. What do you say? Cool. No need to tell Vargas why I joined you. If anybody asks, I'm just helping you get oriented, all right? Copy Echo One, appreciate the update. 